last season, we had our first ever upset of a top five team in Tulsa State, and it was a rout. It was crazy. I did not expect that game at all. But here we are back again versus a top five team in Rocky Mountain State in what could be the biggest game of this series. Now, this is an interesting game because Rocky Mountain State is really a number one team. They only lost to Missouri Tech by three in overtime. They are seven and one on the year. They really could have been undefeated. Now, looking at our injuries, we still do have two injuries with Deion Carter and Troy Collier the third. Those two will resume action around the same time. If we make it to a bowl game, we'll have to see. So JJ Hollinson will have to step up. Last week, he actually played an expanded role after the injury of Deion Carter. But now we'll see a little bit of Jabari Blaze Jr. at running back. And also, look out for Jacob Drackett. He's a guy that's interesting. He can play every single position on the field, including receiver, quarterback, and defensive back, and maybe a little bit of linebacker as well. We'll have to see. Now, Rocky Mountain State is led by Lewis Smith, who Smith is one of the most accurate quarterbacks in the nation. Can we get him off his rocker? We'll have to in order to win this game. Now, they are missing their best running back in Harrell, but we will have to worry about Chaz Beard. He's a decent running back as well. I mean, he's pretty good. If you look at his ratings right here, and he's going to be a handful to keep up with, but missing their star running back is going to help us. And then receivers, they have a ton of them. But watch out for Chris Murray on the defensive line. He is their leading tackler and also their leading sack getter. He is a special type of talent on the defensive line. This is a number one team for sure. So here is Rocky Mountain State. They're going to start it out by kicking it away. As they are at home, we will have to upset them on the road. This is going to be a tough game. So we start on offense from the shotgun. Here's a quick throw to the right side, and it's Andre Booker. And he's got it for a gain of six yards. And now that brings it to another first and ten as we move the chains. Here's a th run to the left side, and it's Phoenix Frazier. And he picks up about a gain of 11. First down for him, moving the chains. So now a second and 11 handoff to J.J. Hollinson, who gets his first career start. And he picks up about a gain of one after a loss of one yard on first down, bringing it to a third and 10 this time. Frazier moves the pocket and throws across the middle. It's caught by Booker. Nice one. Gain of 12 by him. It's a first down. And now we're across the 50 as we bring in Jacob Drackett now for a little bit of a looks like a little Wildcat full house pistol formation. And that's going to be handed off to Hollinson, but he gets hit hard. But take a look. He's shaking up already. So Jabari Blaze gets some playing time before expected as he checks into the game now. Frazier throws to the right side, and it's picked off by Hunter. He's going to make a man miss, and he's going to be off to the races. Drackett is going to run him down at about the 10-yard line. A mistake already from Felix Frazier. He maybe had Jabari Blaze wide open, but it looked like West beat him on that route. But instead, it's a great defensive play, and now Rocky Mountain State is set up inside the 10. First play, handoff. No, it's an option keeper for the touchdown. Lewis Smith gets in, and that's 7 0 for Rocky Mountain State. They're going to play like a top five team on offense and defense. We got to remember that. So here's Bryant Britt back to receive the next kickoff. He is one of the best returners in the nation. He takes it down the left sideline. He's already got two on the year, and he does get to about the 31 yard line gain of 73 yards. And that's a great sign, but we have some bad news coming into this next drive. J.J. Hollinson has a concussion and is out for the rest of the game. So Jabari Blaze now for back-to-back -back games, the backup running back gets some unexpected playing time. So here's a quick throw to the left side. It's caught by Andre Booker. And he's going to pick up a gain of seven inside the 20. And now here we are once again from the shotgun. Frazier throws across the middle, and it's caught by West. Gain of 12 yards. He's going to have to step up for sure with all of our playmakers out. And now we come out here inside the 10-yard line. Drack it in the game again for a little wildcat this time. 
He hands it off. No, he fakes it and throws. Touchdown, Xavier Gonzalvo. Jacob Dracken can do it all. Remember, I have been waiting to release him, to unleash him. And now he gets in and throws a touchdown pass to Gonzalvo. It's 7-7. Seven, seven. So now here we are back on defense for the first time. Here is Beard with the handoff to the right side. And that's a gain of six. Is now they have to drive the length of the field instead of just going 10 yards. Is now they get into a third and three. Let's see if we can come up with a stop. We send the pressure. Screen pass. The left side. It's caught by Beard. He's got Roman a first down, picking up a block downfield. That looked like a clipping to me. And it ends up being a 28-yard gain first down for Chaz Beard. So first and 10 this time. Smith throws to the right side. He's got Flores, who does fall forward. Another positive gain, gain of seven. So now second and three, running the read option. Smith keeps in its a tackle in the backfield, and that's Malik King, who's been pretty good on the defensive line. As this season has gone on, he's gotten some playing time. So now we start the second quarter, and we find out that Kyron Favors also out for the game. So we will miss it. We'll be missing our number one corner on the outside. We'll see who can fill that role. As right now, Bryant Britt slots over to the right side of the field. Here's a screen pass, third and nine. York gets to Beard, and he falls to about the 21, but it's still short of the first down marker, fourth and inches. They're lining up to go for it. Head coach Cordell Stewart is being aggressive, and here they run the option to the left side. Smith keeps it. It's a tackle before the first down marker. That is a turnover for your River Cats defense. Nice play by York and the captain, Javon Warren. So now we start the second quarter on offense. Here's a throw to the right side. It is caught by Stephen Ford, who picks up about a gain of 12, and that's a first down for him. And now we get it to about the 35-yard line handoff. Jabari Blaze, and the one thing about him is that, he remember, he had fumbling issues last season. Let's see if he can clean that up now. So here's a throw to the right side. It's Gonzalvo, and he catches it. Gain of six for a first down. These little chunk plays are going to wear this defense down. As now we come out with three wide receivers to the right side. That is Ethan Andrews also on the right throw to the right side on the sideline. And Adrian West keeps a foot in bounds. Gain of 15 yards, first down. And now we start to run some clock a little bit. Frazier throws, another short pass to West. And he picks up about a gain of 14, looks like. And he spins around, first down for him. And now first and 10. Three and a half minutes left now. Frazier throws to the middle of the field caught by Booker only a gain of six but we're still getting positive yardage so Jacob Drackett checks in this time option he pitches and it's picked off by Thomas and wow what a defensive play he read the pitch all the way and takes it for the touchdown there is no way we could have saw Jay Thomas on this take a look he just jumps right in front of it in our view he just came off of the screen and just caught it and now 14 to seven, just like that. So here we are now with three minutes left here in the first half. We gotta try to come back and now score before halftime as we look to be in control, but now they're in control. Two big defensive plays already. So here's a throw to the right side and it's gonna be Gonzalvo who can't hold on to it. Phoenix Frazier has been accurate up to this point. And now third and five, we're gonna bring in Jamal Wilson for the option and it's not going to work stopped in the backfield and we will have to pump this ball away so 14 7 lead here for smith out onto the field let's see what he can do as this first half winds down throw to left side his tight end henderson throws a stiff arm throws two and then gets pushed out of bounds by jacory reed and now they're across the 50 yard line to about 30 and they get it to a second and three now. Here is Louis Smith. Throw to the right side. It's caught by Browning. First down. Big hit by Bryant Britt. But they move the chains now inside the 20. So here is Smith. A draw play. It's Chaz Beer. He throws a stiff arm but only can pick up a gain of one yard. And now they line up with three wide receivers to the right side for a third and nine. We set the pressure and it's Leon Christopher right away. Loss of seven. We call the timeout to hopefully put us together a nice drive before half. Now we're down 10. So here is Adrian West who gets the catch on the left side. He runs out of bounds and maybe gets hit. 
A little bit late, no flag though. And now Frazier on a second and one. 50 seconds left, he stops and throws to Booker, who's got it, and he's across the 50 on that one. Gain of 14, first down. Now there's 47 seconds left. We only have one timeout now, we don't use it, but throw across the middle, Booker's got room. Gain of 20 on that one. He doesn't have the elite speed, but he has enough to pick up a gain of 20. And now we're inside the 25, still running this no hurry, this no huddle hurry up offense as we throw to the right side. It's Jabari Blaze. He's got good hands out of the backfield, better than Hollinson does. And now second and one. We run slants, but we throw to left side, and it's Ethan Andrews, gain of four. That's an inaccurate throw, but we're a little bit tired on this drive. So we still haven't called that timeout yet. We're hurrying it up. 18 seconds left, Frazier throws to the end zone. Touchdown, Ethan Andrews, nine yards out. And that's a way to put together a drive before halftime. It's 14 to seven, and this team looks like we have some heart going into the end of this game. And I love it, 14 to seven, team, let's go. So here we are to start the second half on defense. Let's see if we can come up with a stop here as Smith throws to the left side. He's got his tight end bell, but nice. One-on-one -on -one tackle by Jacob Drackett. Playing everywhere. So handoff this time. Chaz Beard on a second and five. And he only picks up a gain of two. Is now third and two this time. We're going to send a little blitz this time. Read option keeper. Smith stopped. It's Leon Christopher again. Fourth and six. They're going to punt. Here we go, and now we have possession with a chance to take the lead. So here is Frazier this time, handoff, Jabari Blaze, six yards easy, as it hasn't been easy running the ball, but on that one, he had an open hole as it brings it to a second and four. Nice blocking by our offensive line, giving us time in the pocket, and we find Stephen Ford, gain of nine, first down. So we eventually get across the 50 now, second and four. It looks like we're changing the play to a run, and we just try to fake him out a little bit. Blaze gets to the outside and then gets hit hard, but a gain of 10 yards. Blaze doing what he can to contribute to this team. So Drackett in the game, but we hand off to Blaze again. He falls forward, gain of five, and that's the one trait I love about Blaze. He's always falling forward. It's just the ball security that's the issue. So here is West, open across the middle. He's got it, gain of 14, hit hard, but inside the 20. And look at this drive. Another great driver putting together versus Rocky Mountain State defense. First and 10, throw to the right side. Booker's open. Touchdown. 18 yards. He's in. And we take the lead. 21 to 17. And Booker, the former captain, gets open. And here we go. We got ourselves a game here as we move on to the second half of the third quarter. So here is Lewis Smith here at quarterback. Back out onto the field. He throws to the right side. He's got Henderson as tight end, and he picks up about a gain of seven yards. Actually, 12 yards, I should say. That was a first, second and long. And now Smith running a receiver in motion. Another option play. And he pitches it out and somehow finds Allen. That was a mysterious pitch on that one. I don't know how he got it to Albert Allen, but it's a gain of 17 yards. First down. So inside of three minutes left here in the third quarter, screen pass, Browning to the outside, and he runs out of bound, gain of nine. And now they're across the 50, and they eventually pick up the first down. Smith right, runs out with five wide receivers out there. Let's see what he does, draw a play up the middle, and he does get tripped up. And it looks like that was Cecil Moore who tripped him up. And now second and one this time. Smith, handoff to the right side. He's got Chaz Beard again. Another first down. So now they're putting together one of their best drives so far. Nice and steady. A lot of plays run on this one. So here is Beard running in motion. They're probably going to run that screen pass. And they do, but we get blocked. And they have perfect blocking. Beard is by himself, and he gets pushed out of bounds inside that 10-yard line by Odin Blue. But now they're here for a first and goal. Let's see what they do. So running the tight end in motion. They're going to hand it off and keep it. No, it's Caleb Smith, or it's Lewis Smith. And he gets to about the one-yard line, tackled by Drackett. And now let's see if we can come up with a stop here. Nice one-on-one -on -one tackle. Another option keeper, Toffee Brown with the stop. Okay. We want the quarterback to run the ball. We don't want that running back to get the ball. So now third and goal. The backup running back checks in. 
Smith keeps again. Desmond Edwards this time. Loss of one. And look at this. Lewis Smith is hurt. He's limping off the field. And now they settle for three. We still have this one-point lead to start the fourth quarter. So here is Frazier on the first pass. He rolls to the right side and just gets rid of it. It's caught by Eric Klug, but a loss of two yards. And now third and 13. Frazier from the pocket. Nice blocking, but he throws left side, and that's to nobody pretty much. Out of bounds, incomplete. And now we go back out on defense, but we get some news. Lewis Smith has a hip fracture out for the season. So not only are they missing their star quarterback, but they're missing the star running back as well. And now in comes Chase Russell at quarterback. He has four touchdown passes to seven interceptions. That makes me think that maybe we can force him into some bad throws and force a turnover that could be crucial in this game. So here's Russell's first pass, a screen pass out to the left side, and he's got Bell. That's an easy way to get some confidence going, and that's a gain of six. So now second and four, play action fake. Russell throws across the middle to Browning, and Browning breaks the tackle, and he's off to the races. Nobody's going to catch him. He's got the speed. It's a touchdown. Wow. Two passes, and he already has a touchdown pass. Browning gets around York, breaks the tackle, and he's in. So 26-21, they're going to go for two points. And here is Russell from the pocket. He has all day to throw, but we eventually get to him. Okay, good stop because that one could have made it a seven-point game. And Malik King doesn't get credit for the sack, but he gets to the quarterback. And now here we are with six minutes left here. Let's see if we can put together a nice drive. So here is Phoenix Frazier out with four wide. Blaze in the backfield. We throw to him to the left side. He's got it. Room to run. And he picks up about a gain of 14. But there's a flag on the play. It looks like Adrian West got caught with a clipping on that play. So this one's coming back. So second and 15 this time. We blocked the running back. Throw to the right side. And it's caught. Gonzalvo on the sideline. Gain of 17 for him. First down. Move the chains. So five minutes left now. Throw to the right side. It's Gonzalvo again. A nice catch. Five yards. He holds on to it. And now we get it to a third and three this time. We run on with five wide. Isaiah Thomas in the slot. We throw to him. It's caught. The true freshman, 18 yards. He's going to be a future on the outside. He's outside receiver. At that time, we had him in, and it's a first down. So now across the 50-yard line this time. Throw to the right side, and it's caught. Tyson Steele, 13 yards. Nice pinpoint throw on that one. And way to hold on to it, Tyson Steele. And now... Under four minutes left, throw across the middle, and it's dropped by Adrian West. Is that's what you're going to get with him? Sometimes he drops some passes. So now second and ten this time. Frazier throws to the right side. He's got Ethan Andrews, who does get it, but runs out of bounds. Gain of eight yards now. So now third and two, running the read option. Jamal Wilson keeps it. He gets to the outside and does cut up field. Nice gain. Gain of ten. First down. So now we start to run this clock now. Throw across the middle. Ethan Andrews has got it. He's bottled up for a gain of five, though, staying in bounds. That's what we want. So now two minutes left here. If we get into the end zone, we're probably going to go for two. Throw to the right side, and it's incomplete. That was a third and five throw. And now it comes down to this. Fourth and five. Two minutes left. We have all three timeouts. Let's see what we do. Frazier comes out with four wide receivers. He doesn't change the play. He stays still. Frazier throws, and it's caught by Adrian West for the touchdown. Eight yards out. And West makes up for that drop earlier and then comes through in the clutch. That's what you like to see from the captain. So we line up to go for it here for the two-point conversion and make it a three-point game, 27-26. Here's Frazier. He moves. He throws. It is caught by Eric Klug. There we go, a three-point game, but two minutes left. They have all three timeouts. Anything could happen on this drive. Let's see if our defense can come through. So now remember, the backup quarterback is in. Lewis Smith is out for the season with a hip fracture. Russell from the shotgun. He comes out with three wide receivers and two running backs. He airs it out deep on the first pass, and it's picked off by Brian York. 
and look at him he makes a move inside the 50 and there we go on the first play the turnover we needed we highlighted when he came into the game chase russell that is that he is turnover prone and look at that he threw a touchdown pass within his first two passes and then throws an interception on the next pass so here we are just trying to run this clock and here's jabari blaze trying to run the ball loses four though and now second and 14 here four five wide receivers out there throw across the middle incomplete that one will stop the clock too maybe an ill-advised throw so now frazier comes out here with four wide receivers we got to convert and we try to scramble out to the right side frazier has room and this is going to be about a gain of seven yards maybe gain of eight and it looks like we step out of bounds so we stop the clock too so now fourth and five now what do we do we call a timeout and we think about it a little bit and we line up to go for it we're just out of field goal range if we get the first down this game is over snap from the shotgun frazier throws and it's caught by jabari blaze first down that is the game blaze fills in for hollinson where hollinson filled in for carter and he makes the game winning first down catch out of the backfield unaccounted for and we get our second top five upset and probably the biggest win of this series and that win does wonders for this program for a multiple of reasons and you'll see in a little bit frazier 29 of 37 he was masterful three touchdowns one interception and honestly we did so well on defense we made stops when we had to jabari blaze didn't run for big numbers but he filled in nicely when we had to get a big run or a big play he made it i mean he wasn't bad at all he had two catches out of the backfield as well booker got a touchdown west got a touchdown that clutch one and he only dropped one pass I'm, I'm encouraged by west remember he had that four drop game before and he's getting better for sure especially as a senior he's got to be that leader leon christopher had a couple of big plays but how about jacob drack it played both sides of the ball actually led our team in tackles and threw a touchdown pass and then brian york with the game ceiling interception setting us up with the first down conversion which sealed it up and then lewis smith only went 12 of 14 142 yards no touchdowns zero interceptions as well and then he only ran for 35 yards we wanted him to keep it on those options so that's why we had the uh setting on just let him keep it and we kind of uh you know limited chaz beer so now we look at the rest of the conference and missouri tech was taking on air force who we remember we promoted them to the mac conference and this was an interesting matchup and missouri tech took it by over two scores it was not even close it looks like perez had himself a game he had two touchdowns over 340 yards passing a touchdown as well running and then baker ran for 112 yards and three touchdowns and missouri tech looks like they're going to be undefeated once again rocky mountain state drops down to 13 in the nation and that is a big loss to them and with that loss we actually jumped them in the conference standings in the mac national so we are four and two in conference it looks like navy is two and three a conference so they would have owned that tiebreaker versus us but now we upset rocky mountain state and despite our overall record our conference record is the same and we own that head to head so now we are in control and we control our own destiny at the end of the season so three games left we have cal m stam and tulsa state the cal game won't matter with our conference standings but hopefully we win that game we want to still win and hopefully even get top 25 consideration now that we upset a top five team we'll have to see and looking at our resume i mean we've lost two games by four points including a four point loss to penn state so i think we are in good position here going forward so can we close out this season and get a conference championship bid for the original walk-ons we'll have to see hit subscribe hit that like button stay tuned let's get it let's go
I've been working hard for a minute. The ones who don't deserve it seem to be the ones that get it. The ones who speak the truth never get the recognition. But the ones that act foolish seem to get all the attention. It don't matter though. Yeah. And it don't even matter though. Nope.